Lieutenant General Todd Seminite, 54 Chief of Engineers, and the Commanding General of the United States Army Corps of Engineers. I'm excited to talk to you a little bit about Engineering Week. Uh, this is the 18th to the 24th of February, and the theme for this week is Engineers Inspiring Wonder. And I wanted to talk to the entire engineer family, whether you're a federal engineer, you're in DOD or one of the services, or you're one of those great NGOs out there that continue to support us. Our nation needs our engineers. You've heard the President and the Administration continue to talk about challenges we have with infrastructure. There continues to be a lot of requirements out there for the federal government. And we as engineers have a responsibility to this nation, not only to design things that will hold up, but to be able to find innovative ways to be able to make sure we solve these challenges in the best possible way that the nation can afford. I think back on some of the things I see in DOD. Uh, right now, our service engineers are stepping up to be able to continue to support Iraq and Afghanistan. And if we see future threats in either China, Russia, or North Korea, our engineers in DOD are ready to be able to make that happen. And that's either engineers in uniform, our great civilian engineers, our SCSs, it's the total team to be able to make sure that we're taking care of what we've got to do to be able to make this nation strong and to continue to take care of our people. When I think about some of the special functions, uh, in the Corps of Engineers we do an awful lot of civil works. I know that Navy engineers do a lot of great work when it comes to our shorelines. The Air Force engineers do an unbelievable job taking care of our runways, but how do we continue to be able to watch out? Where are those potential challenges and how do we step up to be able to make sure we're addressing those? Today I'm in Puerto Rico and I see an unbelievable engineer team from everybody. The interagency, uh, the states, the federal government, the service engineers step up when the nation needs us in a national disaster. And FEMA has got great people, but they need an engineer capability to really be able to deliver. And what we've seen down here in the last five months is a great need to be able to not only take care of debris removal, take care of temporary housing, to be able to take care of the navigation requirements and temporary generators, but an unbelievable mission to be able to rebuild the grid throughout all of Puerto Rico. And it's the engineer team that came forward with innovative solutions, but then also has the ability to put muddy boots on the ground to be able to deliver and make it happen. I think regardless of wherever you're working in the engineer team and the engineer family, I want to reach out to say, continue to up the bar on yourself. Uh, the other day I signed 194 letters to uh, young people in the Corps of Engineers who just got their PE license. So wherever you're at and whatever your credentials are, what are you doing to continue to improve themselves? And then to these organizations, how are we going to continue to streamline our organizations, make sure that our methods of delivery are on track, and to make sure that our quality is above approach, we continue to be a good value, and we are building things on time and the standard. So I'm very, very impressed with whatever I see with our engineer team, but you've got to understand that our engineers really do inspire wonder across the United States. And I would just take a moment to pause and to think back on all the things that your organization and you have done in the last year to be able to take care of our units, our organizations, and our nations. And I'll just end with something that over a lot of years I've learned. You want a job, you want a paycheck, there's a lot of people you can go work, you can go work for. But if you really want to shape the future of this nation and to be able to continue to have prosperity and the economy and to be able to protect America, be an engineer. Because at the end of the day, it's all about delivering. And in the Army, we say we're Army strong. Uh, in the Corps, we say we're building strong. But as engineers, you got to know we're engineer strong. And I'm proud to be here to help celebrate another great engineer week. Thanks for listening.